Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at two powerful tools, Readwise and the Readwise Reditalator app called Reader. In this video, we will see what these apps are and how you can integrate them into Obsidian. These tools enhance what at paperless movement is called shallow thinking. Basically, a first layer of thinking focused on quick capture and easy retrieval of information. An efficient way for organizing data rapidly. If you want to learn more about this, you can find a PKM course and other amazing courses on paperless movement. And if you sign up through my iCore Expert page, you can have a three day trial. You will find the link in the description down below. Now, before we start, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future videos. And with that being said, let's start from Readwise. Readwise is an incredible tool that helps you capture and store your highlights and notes from articles, tweets, podcasts, PDFs, and more. With Readwise, you never have to worry about forgetting valuable information ever again. As you can see, you can connect different apps to Readwise, and the highlights or the notes you take on these apps will be automatically synced into Readwise. On the other hand, Readwise Reader is a tool that stores all the things you capture. You can capture articles, books, emails, and once you save them, you can highlight them or take a note directly inside them. And you do all of these in a beautiful, distraction-free environment. It's like having your own personal library of insights at your fingertips. Let me show you an example. Let's suppose I'm on Medium, I open an article, and I want to read it later. With the Readwise browse extension, I can easily send it to my reader. I just need to click here on the browse extension save to reader. Now, if I go back here, I will see the article. I can open it. I can read it. I can highlight or add some tags like medium article, and I can add a note. This is a note. Okay. And now all this information, the highlights, the note, the tag will be synced into Readwise and thanks to the Readwise official Obsidian community plugin, I can process them inside my vault. Let's see how. First of all, we need to install the Readwise official community plugin. And to do that, you just need to go to settings, community plugin, browse, Readwise official, install, enable, and go here to the options. As you can see here, you just need to connect your Readwise account. So click on connect. And here you can customize the name of the folders where your notes will be stored. The file name. The format of the notes. The format to choose here is completely subjective, but I want to show you only one thing. In my YAML front matter section, I use a checkbox property called processed and it's unchecked by default. I use this property to query all the nodes I still need to process. Once I finished, I just check the box. And lastly, here you select which items you want to export. Once you are ready, you can go back to your Obsidian vault. Here, before you click on initiate sync, you may want to change some settings. For example, I want the Readwise folder to be created inside my resources folder. So I write the path here, resources slash Readwise. Then I set the resync frequency to every one hour. And I want to start a resync automatically every time I launch Obsidian. Now that I am ready, I can click here on Initiate Sync. And as you can see, if I go here on Resources, I have my folder Readwise. And inside it, I have my articles, books, and podcast notes. And if I open them, I have my notes here. And for example, if I open here, you can see how to backup your Obsidian Vault. This is the article that we highlighted together. And if I open it, I have the highlights here with the tag that we actually 
choose before and here you can see the notes. Now, if I want to group all the nodes that have not been processed yet, I can write a simple query using data view. If you don't have the data view plugin installed, you can do that by simply going on the settings, community plugin, browse, search for data view, install, and enable. I will not explain how data view works today. I will do a dedicated video about this very soon. Uh, but basically, it allows you to query your nodes by using their properties. So, the query I am looking for can be something like this. Let me open the node. And you can write three backticks and data view. Now, I just want to create a table. So, I write table and I define the columns that I want to see. In my case, I want to see the nodes and the folders where the nodes are stored. And to do that, I just need to write file.link as nodes. So this means that the column will be called nodes. And inside this column, I will see the link to the nodes. And the second column will be file.folder as folders. So the column will be called folders and inside it, I will see the folder where the node is stored. Now I want to retrieve the nodes only from the readwise folder. So here I can write from resources slash readwise. And now I just want to retrieve only the nodes with the property processed equal to false. So I just write where processed equal false. And here we go. These are all the nodes that I still need to process. And if I check one of them, let me open one node here on the right. And if I check the notes, as you can see, you will not have the note here anymore. I personally use this query in my daily note template. You can see my daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly review templates in one of my previous videos. The benefits of using Readwise and Obsidian are immense. This integration allows you to create a comprehensive and interconnected web of knowledge. It's a game changer for personal knowledge management. By combining the capturing power of Readwise and the organizational capabilities of Obsidian, you can take your learning and idea generation to new heights. So give it a try and let me know in the comments below if you would like to see a dedicated video about Readwise and Reader. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Remember to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium and join my Discord server for more productivity, PKM and note taking content. You will find all the links in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, stay productive.